the future of Mexico because of the whole development is very prosperous. We're expecting strong growth in this market and we have to address this and we also have to support our customers here in Mexico with qualified support for our products. We are here in Mexico today and I'm with Alexander and Bloom has just grown and expanded here to Quietro, Mexico, one of my favorite cities. And Alexander and I are going to talk about the reason why Bloom decided to open another headquarters across the world here in Quietro, Mexico and the excitement behind it and a little bit of the technology as well. So Alexander, thank you so much for being here. Are you excited to be in Mexico for this grand opening? Totally excited. and. Uh... Happy to be with these people here, very warm-hearted people here in Mexico. So when we talk about the expansion into Mexico, why Quetero? Why Mexico? What are you looking forward to? We got Luisa with us as well. What, what's going on in Mexico that's exciting for you? Yeah, well, the, the answer for Querétaro is very simple. It is uh, one of these centers of the machine tool industry here in Mexico and uh, makes a lot of sense for us to be here. More complex is uh, the question, why Mexico? and uh, why a German company. So just to, to uh, look a little bit deeper in, in our approach to the market nowadays, we do regard ourselves a German company, but we are a global company. We're not a global company shipping products all over the world. This is something we do since many years, but we're in the transition of being a globally operated company by people. So we're saying not anymore made in Germany to our products, but made by the people of Bloom Novotest worldwide. Because the support for our products, the service for our products, the qualified uh, sales uh, um, advisory to our customers is essential. And therefore, we also have to expand into all markets. We're in, in Mexico since uh, five years, active with a rep office from our U.S. operations. And we've decided Mexico has to be a full subsidiary of our German headquarters. The future of Mexico, because of the whole development, is very prosperous. We're expecting strong growth in this market. And we have to address this and we also have to support our customers here in Mexico with qualified support for our products. Very well said also. And I like that you said that mm -hmm. because to amplify exactly what Alexander is talking about, we do know that Mexico is ranked in the top 10 in the world in manufacturing. Mm -hmm. We do know the reshoring initiative that the U.S. is going through that brings nearshoring initiative. We know the laws and regulations that are different in some countries and other parts of the world are very similar in this side of the world. So you've nailed every aspect that makes mm -hmm. me very excited about the Mexican market as well. So I know you want to talk a little bit about the automation and some of the technology that Bloom has to offer as well for the Mexican audience. Yep. But well, from my point of view, Mexico is uh, not going to be in the future a low-cost country anymore. For sure, they can, or you call it, throw people on the machine, yeah. But uh, the machines which are going to be sold into this market are going to look different. As I said, the world is changing. Some more simple processes are moving to low-cost countries. And uh, therefore, since many years, uh, processes have moved into Mexico. But the, the picture is changing. If you look at the people of Mexico, the engineers and the operators of Mexico, their qualification level is comparable to the Western world. They speak English very well, many of them. They are really good engineers, they're reliable. And at the same time, still the, the basis, uh, some of the costs are very attractive here in Mexico. But uh, when the investment is starting now, the, co the companies are going to look also in, in what we call low level automated processes. So in under other countries like in, in Europe, in Japan, United States, Korea and so on, we're certainly get, uh, high, going to have highly sophisticated uh, production systems automated to the max. But that does not mean that we're going to have to throw people on the machine in other countries. These are people are smart and they're going to invest into these low level automations, which, re, which are allowing to operate several machines by one operator, which are allowing to, to operate these machines 24 seven and uh, this way being competitive with other countries developing in the world. If we look in the further south into Costa Rica, if we look into Southeast Asia, these countries are developing. They have a similar setup and possibilities for the global markets when it comes to limitations of, uh, of um, exporting products nowadays for political reasons than Mexico. And to be competitive, the people in Mexico are going to invest into advanced solutions, which are still price competitive, but also giving them the, the benefit of automation, getting the most out of their products. Alexander, is it okay for me to let you know you just gave me chills with what you just said? What a powerful and inspiring few words. I mean, 
I love hearing that. I know that that's true as well. And you're right about all of it. So it's very exciting as we cut ribbons here for Bloom Nova Test that we talk about all of that automation. Is there anything that I haven't asked you today, any messages that you'd like to give to the audience watching right now um, to kind of close out this conversation, let them know, Bloom, we're here in Mexico. We're ready to go. We're excited. Let's automate your shops. What are the, the, the messages is uh, be open. This is what we ask to our customers. Listen to us, benefit from the experience we have collected all around the world. Our company today has 700 people operating the, the business in uh, 20 countries and uh, collecting a lot of experience, not only with high-end applications, but also with very simple and, and, uh, and automated uh, and strong applications which are cost-sensitive and which require the right product. That's a key a point for, for us in many years of the Bloom Nordhest organization. We do advise the right product. We're not overselling, we're not underselling, we're selling the thing the customer needs. And to find that out, you need to have the right people talking to the customer, looking at their application, recommending the right product, and then not leaving the customer alone, but being there if questions are coming up. You know, the qualification level is, a, is an issue in many countries around the world. And if you have somebody to call, if you have somebody who can come in and give you an assistance how to make the best return out of your investment, this is when you buy the product second time. This is the key to the success of Bloom Nova Test. Very well said for everyone watching. I think in summary, as Alexander just closed with a powerful statement, be open. Thank you all for watching. This is my friend Alexander Bloom. This is Bloom and the expansion here in Mexico. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate your time. Alexander, okay. thank you as well, my friend. Appreciate you. your thank time. Thank you very much. Okay.